as humans in general, we are so fascinated with the afterlife. What is heaven like? What is hell like? There are so many questions that we have and not enough answers from the biblical scriptures. Well, there's a lot of people that have been looking into this for a long time and not just through philosophy or thinking about it, but actually scientific experiments and experiences of what actually it's like to die and then come back. Even in our own community, we have people that have died and come back to life and had experiences through that. So it's not an insanely rare thing. It's actually pretty common in the world to see this happen over and over again. And there's a lot of crazy stories that come along with it. So today I wanted to introduce you to a brand new project from Angel Studios called After Death. This is all about the experiences of people who have died and come back to life and what they experienced in that. Many of these people are having similar things happen or crazy things happen that they just can't explain. Knowledge that they didn't have before or perspectives that they could never have when they were alive. It's very, very strange. And a lot of this is scientifically backed. Now, while you guys know me, I'm a skeptic about a lot of different things, I am really interested to see this movie and to see how it plays out for the people involved. And make sure that you stick around to the end of this video because I'm gonna tell you how you can get free tickets, yes, literally free tickets to watch After Death at the end of this video. So let's take a look at this trailer and see what this movie is actually about. Doctors resuscitate. I can't be dead because I've never felt more alive. I've never heard these experiences before. Hogwash. And I feel like that's where I'm probably starting on this journey is hogwash. <laughs> I feel like I'm a skeptic as well for a lot of these things. Although I have seen real encounters and heard real experiences from people, even in our community, it's just hard for me to get there. So I'm interested to see how this trailer kind of convinces me. It was 1969, the beautiful day to fly. We were about 100 feet above the ground when I started noticing that something was wrong. It was engine failure. Trees were filling our windshield. Oof, that's terrifying for sure. I found myself above the crash site. And while I'm processing what I'm looking at, I can see a pilot, and this is me. No two near-death experiences are the same. Out of nowhere, a trailer truck kept me head on. But they typically occur in a very consistent process. We began to go down the river, and my boat became pinned. I was drowning. The first thing that happens is called an... These are all things that I'm like... Af like t terribly afraid of like getting hit by a semi head on or like being stuck underneath the water and drowning oh man that terrifies me for sure out of body experience and they come to a place of exquisite beauty they very commonly see a light deceased relatives come to meet them the first person i saw was my grandfather now i'm traveling like a rocket ship straight upwards and with that <laughs> oh my god i'm alive but not every near-death experience is a good one. 23% had hellish experiences. I saw a black... Whew, yeah, so I would say what I'm most interested about so far is the scientific aspect of this. Like, you guys know me. I'm a logical thinker. So when I think of the afterlife, when I think of all the things that are kind of going on there, I really want to know... Um, you know, what is the, the, the thought process behind this? What are, what's happening in your brain? What's happening in these stories? How are they all connected? Right. And what is this through, through line? Like if God really does allow you to experience a piece of heaven as you're dying and, and coming back to life, um, you know, what does that actually look like for these people that have experienced it? I, that that's going to be really interesting to see through this movie, how they explain that. I tunnel. I mean, just falling. I wasn't in fear. I was in terror. It was just darkness. Put me back. I don't belong here. I heard a voice before I woke up. You still have a purpose on Earth. I was very skeptical. I never felt alive and then dead. I felt alive and then more alive. That's interesting. That's really interesting, too. I had full brain recordings from a dying human brain. That's what I want to know too. A full, full brain recordings from a dying human brain would be interesting to see. Even though they were unconscious, they were able to give corroborative evidence. She's described herself that she just shouldn't know. 
the same right. Who can't be mystified by that question? What happens after you die? This really does show that there is life after death. I'm gonna tell you how to get free tickets in just a second, but let's break down this trailer and talk about it a little bit. So that's a really interesting trailer. I mean, just visually, it looks amazing. It looks like they've done a really, really cool job about visually helping us to understand what's kind of going on here. Obviously, we can't jump into the minds of all these people and see what they were actually going through, uh, but to be able to visually tell that story, I think is gonna be a really unique movie. Um, I'm also interested in just these stories, how many different people are gonna be involved and what were their uh, cases like like, you know, what scientific stuff did they bring into this? I think that's what I'm most excited to kind of see. But of course, we're all very curious about what the afterlife is like and what parts of it people have experienced. Does God allow us to experience parts of it? Well, we know that scripturally he does, right? Um, at least some people that have written in the Bible write about going to heaven. They write about experiencing things of heaven. And so God doesn't keep those things completely shut off from us um, all the time. There's times when he does open up the doors and allow us to experience things uh, to see them in, in, in a new way, in a way that is really mind-blowing to us in many, many cases. Just like when we see Ezekiel having visions of heaven or Stephen when he's being stoned, seeing up into heaven, and not to mention John and Revelation, or even Paul being brought up into the third heaven, whatever that means, right? There are so many moments where God allows us to see past the veil and to reveal things that were not revealed before. So thank you so much, Angel Studios, for sponsoring this video. Before you go, I did want to show you how to get free tickets for this movie in the theaters when it comes out in October. So all you need to do is go to my link down in the description down below, angel.com slash Snipe Life, and you can actually get free tickets to the theater for this movie. The reason for this is because so many people have loved this movie behind the scenes and they've seen the trailer for it that they've actually been paying it forward for you to go to the theater for free. <laughs> this is going to be amazing. The theaters are going to be packed and it's going to be another amazing Angel Studios release. So if you guys want to be a part of that, if you want to see the movie for free, go hit my link in the description down below, angel.com slash snipe life. And it's super easy. You just sign in and you have free tickets for the movies. Remember that opening weekend is super important for a film coming out. Just like we've talked about before on this channel, when that opening weekend is packed, it starts to reach a wider audience. And so you could really help out by packing out the theaters on that opening weekend. And of course you get free tickets anyways. Angel Studios has told me that they want you to take those free tickets. So make sure you go and get those right now. And of course, what better time for this movie to come out right near Halloween when the world is talking about evil and death and gore, we can talk about life and afterlife and faith-based conversation that is all around this movie. I think it's a really perfect time for this movie to come out. Let me know your thoughts below. I'd love to hear your thoughts about the afterlife. What do you think this is going to be like? What do you think about this movie? Are you excited about it? And are you ready to go watch it in theaters? Anyway, let me know down below and we'll have a conversation down there. We'll see you on the next one. Peace.